Hey guys, Steve here with The Wired Flyer, where we break down aviation concepts in the simplest way possible. Now, there are many aspects of a wing's design that affect its overall performance, from the thickness of the airfoil, to the length of the span, to the curvature of the wing itself, and even the control surfaces. And we cover all that stuff on this channel. But today, we're going to be talking about wing wash, which is the deliberate twisting of a wing, whether it's twisted out or in. So with dealing with wing wash, it can either be wash in or wash out. And how I remember this is you pretend that your arms are wings and wash in, which is the twisting of the wing this way, is as if you are bringing someone in for a hug, whereas wash out would be a twisting in the other direction. So with wash in, the angle of incidence at the wing tip is greater than at the wing root, whereas wash out, the angle of incidence is less at the wing tip than it is at the wing root. Now this plays a major role in the wing's characteristics because every airplane has a critical angle of attack and past that angle of attack, you are going to potentially stall the aircraft. Now, when you have a washout, the wing root is at a greater angle of attack than the wing tip. So the wing root will begin to stall first. And the benefit of that is that you will feel the turbulence as a pilot and you will be able to tell, uh oh, I might be nearing a stall. The nice thing about a washout design is that the ailerons are near the wing tip rather than the wing root. So if the wing root is stalled, you still have control over the ailerons, which allow you to control your roll. So this gives the pilot a better chance to recover the airplane before entering a full stall. This makes the airplane more stable overall. So this is why most commercial aircraft and training aircraft use wing wash out. Now there is also wing wash in, which is not found as much as wing wash out for good reasons. So with wash in, the angle of attack at the wing tip is greater than at the wing root. And that produces more lift at the wing tip than the wing root. But there is a catch. The wing tip is therefore going to stall before the wing root. And the issue with that is that that's where your ailerons are. And if the wing tip stalls first, then you lose control of your ailerons, which means you lose control of rolling the aircraft. So wing wash in is rarely found in modern aircraft because it could lead to a tip stall where the outer part of the wing stalls first, causing a loss of roll control. So some older and some aerobatic aircraft do use a slight wash in to improve the maneuverability, but this requires careful handling and a more skilled pilot. So wash in is usually avoided because it causes early wing tip stalls. So there we have it. Now we understand the basics of the deliberate wing twisted design of an aircraft. So I'd just like to thank you guys for watching this video. This was Steve with the Wired Flyer. And please hit that like button if you learned something new and subscribe to the channel for more aviation content. And don't forget, keep learning, stay motivated, and chase your dreams. Let's go.